Today's video is once again brought to you by the Gaming Deal of the Week. For fans of Mass Effect, if you like an RPG that's a first person shooter and everything all mixed in one, Mass Effect just may be your cup of tea. Get Mass Effects 2 for less than $8 this week on Amazon. Check out the link in the description below. Don't miss this one. <laughs> Hey, glad to see you back here once again on Tech of Tomorrow. You guys know who I am. And today we're going to show you a product that hasn't quite hit the lovely shores of the USA yet, but it is for sale in other parts of the world where HuntKey actually has a name. They're trying to make their break into the United States right now, and so we're going to help them do that by introducing one of their products. Today we're going to look at their 1200 watt power supply, has a five year warranty, and is 80 plus gold. Now there is better, there's 80 plus platinum, but this is a really good power supply rating. What this means is that it's rated, its efficiency is gold rated. There's a lot of charts out there that'll show you all the differences in them, but basically what it means is that this runs at a certain performance level for a certain amount of time and it's guaranteed to be doing that. So 80 plus gold is pretty cool. Now, HuntKey, they make all kinds of weird stuff. They make car chargers, they make laptop adapters, they make power supplies. I mean, these guys are kind of really trippy. They're kind of like the Rosewill of Asia, you know, and they're not owned by Newegg, obviously, they have their own shit going on. So let's take a look inside this box. Let's check out this power supply, see what it looks like. And folks, I've never used this product before. Many of you probably haven't either. Currently, like I said, it's not available in the USA, but you people in Europe, you guys can readily buy this power supply. And if you've used this before, I would really appreciate hearing your comments because me, I'm a hunt key virgin. That's right. In fact, they should just change the H to a C and then it'd actually be a really good key. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can use one of those. But all right, let's jump in. Let's check out the box. And I oh, mean, you know what? I don't have a knife. Hold this on a second. We got something though. Let's see. You guys might've seen this before. My little scimitar right here. Yes, sir. Check that out. So let's give you guys a little tour of that first. Let's just have the cameraman zoom up here. Take a look at the handle there. You can see it's got the mighty mighty dragon on top. Or a sea serpent. Ready to come and get you. With two more heads down here. Because three heads are better than one. So I've heard. Okay. Let me get down to the blade. Let me go for the cameraman chop. Let me go for the unboxing. So take this little thing right here. Nice little thing right here. Back off! You're getting too close, man. I got a personal comfort zone. You guys are right inside of it right now, so mellow off. All right, so here we go. Hunt key. Power your dream. Like we said, five-year warranty. This is the X7 series, 1200 watt power supply. Says it sports SLI and Crossfire, no problem at all. Has a little FutureMark thing on here, FutureMark Corporation, which is kind of weird because FutureMark actually does bench testing for your know, video cards and stuff like that in your PC. So there's that. So I just rip the plastic off and we'll actually take a look at the box. So these guys have some interesting features on it. So, all right, now we got that out of the way. Take that once again, throw it to the cameraman. He loves that, so do I, we love you. All right, so here we go. Front of the box, spin it around. Yeah. Now, cameraman, I want you to zoom in over here because these are some of the very important things about this power supply. Now, whether I've heard of them or not, it does look like these people have a good design going on. We'll just start up right here. Interleaved PFC, improves the efficiency and stability. 105C Japanese capacitors, special plus 12 volt three plus six output for PCIe, which means you have a lot of power for your video cards. Phase shifted full bridge, compare with the traditional circuit design, the DC output of the PS PSU is more stable, so I guess it's phase shifted. Something to do with how the power is regulated and it's gonna make it run better. 12 volt supply line, copper plate design, runs the system well under high loading. So that means if you've got the system being, you know, pushed, it'll actually go a little bit farther than that. Once again, we see this 105C Japanese capacitor and secondary part, DC-DC converter, solid capacitor, something called adopt the large inlet. The system with hunt key power is good running even and overloading current. So it's saying that even if you do overload this thing past the 1200 watts, it's still going to be running. Glass epoxy circuit board with two layer circuits. Good performance and stability and reliability. The system with hunt key power supply performance well running in the extreme condition. So over and over then, they're just repeating. They use a lot of good parts and the thing's just gonna run like a fucking truck. That's what they're saying. So all this stuff over here, I'm not gonna bore y'all with it. The camera can zoom in there. You guys can just see it. And then we'll move on and actually take a look at the unit. 
Like I said before, folks, I'm totally new to this company, so I don't know much about them. So I try to give you as much information as possible. Pop the box. Ooh, wait. Cameraman zooming over here. Actually, this thing looks pretty damn cool. Let's go ahead. Pop it. Da, 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 da. Look at that. Ooh-wee. Check that out. A lot of good information right here. You guys can see it's semi-modular. Explains all the routing of the cables there. Go ahead and set that back. Oh, wow. All right. Now, you guys love braided cables. And you guys said you didn't like the flat braided cables whatsoever. So you guys will probably like these. Check these out. They're not exactly parachute braid, but they're really cool anyways. A lot of different power connectors on here. These are all ones for your SATA. I'll go ahead and set that off to the side. This is for your Molex floppy. Not many people use the floppy anymore, but there are some people out there. Once again, more SATA. Two sets of the PCIe, so you can run two video cards in SLI or Crossfire mode. Kabing, kabang. They got the 6 plus 8 and the 6 right there, and they're colored blue. Then we have another Molex. Pop that out of the way. Set that over there. Over here is the X7 user's manual. Just some stuff in there about the user's manual. I should have drawn little cartoon characters when I spun it. It looked like a little story. That would have been cooler. I know, but hey, hindsight's 2020. Now, the power supply has a really unique look. It's not totally unique, but also notice the slot connection. This is only for high-end power supplies. So let's pull this bad boy out of here. The color scheme is really cool for fans of AMD. This is probably going to get your wanky all wanky and you want to go fap in the corner right now because this thing's black and red. You can see the hunt key design, single fan, nice and shiny fan. Spin on the side, we got some writing right here. Probably says X7 in Chinese. If I'm wrong, you guys are Chinese out there who speak Chinese. You can correct me. Thank you very much. Quang Chao. All right, so here's some of the specifications once again. So it's a switching power supply. Very, very good. Spin that around. Here's the back. Now, when they say switching power supply, it means that if something in the power supply is going to fail, it'll switch off to another unit and keep the power supply going. That's like a redundant feature. It's really good. The button on here actually looks very industrial too, the on and off button. Inside, you guys can see all the high quality components and it's actually pretty heavy for me just to try to balance in my one hand right here. It's quite heavy. So we'll flip it around the back. You guys can see, here's where all the modular stuff plugs in, your PCIe, your SATA, all the rest of it. Also, here go the final parts. These are all your power cables right here. I'm not going to unbundle them because every power supply has these all the same. They're all here. You have your 20 to 24 pin, 8, 6, a lot of additional power stuff here. So this power supply looks like it's geared to run just about anything. It has that nice new electronical smell I like, industrial. So, like I said, I don't know much about HuntKey, guys. I'm going to go ahead and hook it up to a system, see how it runs. I can't really tell you about, you know, how long it's going to run or anything like that. It's my first time seeing it. But give me your opinions. I appreciate them. And we'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow.